These children here are actually street children. They do not have a place to live or to stay out in town. We've come to deliver just uh, goods, the resources that we have on the camp, we try to provide here. They start off with a shower, and then they get uh, a change of clothing, if they do have it. Uh, then they get some food. They do get a little bit to eat, medical attention if needed. And then they go to the classrooms, where they get some English and French learning. So this is where they're actually eating. They're celebrating birthdays now. It's improved drastically since the last time we came here, which was about three months ago. Hello. So they get basic medical attention here. They have basic supplies, um, nothing too technical here. These two are the classrooms, and normally they do English classes and French classes. It's a makeshift classroom for right now, but the more that we can supply or provide, it'd be very, very beneficial to them. This warehouse used to be so full, they don't have much here, so we're trying to help improve their living situation with um, providing them with as much supply as possible. I know, I know. They're going to give Francesco. Francesco. Yeah, so he's actually looking to get some sandals and shoes, and we did bring a box of flip-flops. So eventually they should be getting some from the distribution. Hi. Say hi! Hi! Yeah! <laughs> here, let's play with the soccer ball. Right here. Uh, we, we do ask from a lot of churches, a lot of uh, hospitals, if they would send items, um, used clothing, used shoes, sandals, um, children's clothing, baby's items, basic um, hygiene products as well to come and, and actually be delivered to the camp. That way we can actually transition them over here. We're able to do something on such a small scale that to them means the world. <laughs>